What's happening, folks? Today, I want to go over uh, my trauma kit on my adventure bike. I also have a mirrored one in a different pouch on my body armor. These are great to have. You got to have one in your car in this crazy world that we live in. This is something nice to have. It's technically it's supposed to be for you. You can use it on yourself, obviously, but maybe carry two because you'll be able to help somebody else. But you can also use this kit. Doesn't really matter. I don't want to get into all that. Uh, right now, I'm using a giant loop uh, fender bungee to hold this on, as well as the toolkit in here. So on here, I also have, obviously, it's a medical kit with the little symbol. I have my blood type on here. I also have a tourniquet which has a spot to mark the time, which is very important. That's on the outside, the quick access. This is one of the smallest pouches I could find that had the different mounting systems on the back. So it's very versatile because this will probably not stay this way as I improve, as I ride more. So as this opens, we've got one space blanket, I took from a soap notes pad. I ripped out some of the pages for the soap notes. And these are so when you get a hold of whoever on the radio or on the telephone, you've got some notes here with information about what's going on in your emergency or your wilderness trauma, whatever. I keep small gauze bandages in here. Just a few of these right now. Uh, this is always changing. Like I said, I'll probably get some bigger ones of these. Got some alcohol pads. I've got one uh, gel soaked burn dressing in here that's actually quite large. It's a four inch by four inch. I keep several of these hemostatic agents in here. This is a powder that you rip open and you can tear it, put this into, pour this into a cut and it will burn it. Basically, it will seal it through a chemical reaction that creates heat. I keep this Luca tape. Look this stuff up. This is amazing tape. It has a primer roll that I don't have in here. What I do basically is make band-aids out of this. This is why I never carry band-aids even when I'm hiking. Uh, you, can, you can use a little bit of gauze and this tape to make band-aids. This stuff is strong and it will eat the skin if left on too long. That's the strength of the adhesive. We have one uh, compressed emergency bandage. We have one non sterile triangular bandage for a sling. We've got a good set of DMT shears in case we've got to cut through any clothing. And we've got the chest wound entry and exit twin pack. Uh, back in the day, they used to just give you the entry wound. Oftentimes, the exit wound would go ignored. And that's it, folks. Very simple, very stripped down. I wouldn't take away from this too much. I'm probably going to add more to it, but this is just what's going on in here right now. And you can always upgrade this stuff. You can buy these kits ready-made from some companies, really good companies out there. They're expensive. Or you can piece these together, which is what I did. It's what I do. I piece them together um, based on stuff I already have and stuff I know that already that works well and it's usually the stuff that costs more. So just get over that and get at least one of these and a small pouch and start carrying it around and, and then, and then build another one, uh, you know, a couple months later as you can afford them. So yeah, that's what's on the bike right now. And like I said, also on the body armor and probably going to start carrying it out. When we go to the grocery store, which ain't often around here. Peace. Love you. We'll talk soon.
Hey, if you like this content, subscribe to my YouTube channel at The Living Man.